It says no tourists over here, please. What does that mean? These people are too good for us to be filming over here. Bueller. 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 Henry Caruso? Maybe. I don't think it's the Caruso. Where's this elevator go? Down? Hmm. I don't think I want to go down. <laughs> you don't want to go down in the cemetery? No. You? <laughs> it only had a down button. Did you see that? I guess we can like view the great uh, the caskets underground. Yeah. I don't well, think I want to only go down. Call Malden. Witherby. All right, right here's a good one. Walter Matthau, friends. He did some amazing work. Margo and Irvin Winkler. He was in Elvis movie, right? He was in an Elvis movie. He was movie. in um, Blue Hawaii? In, no, New Orleans. Oh, that's right. King Creole. King Creole. That's yeah. right. Interesting. Another, he was in Andy Griffith's first big movie, Facing the Crowd. Another Elvis tie, friends. Bad News Bears. Bad News Bears. There's Mickey. Surely this is not the real Mickey. Mary Carroll. These people are forever young. It says it right there. I wouldn't be an ugly. So let me ask you this, my guy. With three of them here, does that mean that they're buried on top of each other? Maybe. That might be what the elevator's for. So you ride the elevator and we can actually see the caskets? Under Push the them up under there, maybe. I don't think so. Hey, that would be wild. Uh, I be, mean, that would be wild. That'd be weird and wild. Take it, sir, underground of the cemetery. Yeah, I don't want to be down there. All right, let's go see Mr. Howe. Yeah, I mean, I can answer a quick question. Hey. I thought she was putting markers. On this stuff, I don't know. Strange. Strange. So friends, darling husband, Jim Backus, cherished wife, Henny Backus. Some of you may not know that name. I know who it is. I know who it is. <laughs> you do? Oh yeah. Gilligan's Island, friends, Mr. Howe. The millionaire. Oh, oh lovey, can we have a martini? The millionaire. <laughs> yeah, and his wife. This is literally the millionaire and his wife. He was really a millionaire because he was an actor, and that's his wife. Now, what's incredible is, I'll show you how to find it. There's the entrance. You see this crazy tree here. There's a palm tree there, two of them side by side. You see those buildings. You just walk right over here, and he's right here. Now, something I found that I thought was interesting, you remember this episode of Gilligan's Island. That right there is Henny Bacchus with the golden ring in her nose. That was Jim's wife, Henny. Now, something that's going to trip you out is we've talked about in some previous videos, most likely, or it may be videos after this, how like Michael Jackson and Elvis and Walt Disney live real close together, that kind of stuff and Lucille Ball and, and all those folks. So here is Mr. Howe 
just on the other side of that gray car right there, literally on the other side, is Barney Fife. Don Knotts. Don Knotts. Marilyn Monroe and uh, Hugh, Hefner. Hugh Hefner are right over there. Just a little bit to the left was Dean, was Dean Martin was right over Dean here, Martin right? was right here straight ahead. Yeah, it was, oh, that's right. Dean was over in there. Mel Torme was right over there where that man's walking. He's probably looking at Mel's grave right there. Over here, Walter Matthau, Jack Lemon, Farrah Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett, Peter Falk, Peter Falk, Rodney Dangerfield, Carol O'Connor, Archie Bunker, Carol O'Connor, Archie Bunker, um, uh, Sage Stallone, Sage Sylvester's Stallone. son, yep. Wilder, Gene Wilder. What, what Wilder was it? Was it Wilder? Was it Gene Wilder? I didn't see him. I haven't seen a Wilder, so I don't know. He's talking about friends. He's just saying words. <laughs> so. We're going to look up and see what else we can find here. Stay tuned. So I just saw, friends, that somebody that any of y'all my age would have to know who Mr. French is from Family Affair. He is somewhere along in here. This lady wrote, Fame and fortune. Nurturing wife, mother, and grandmother, she lived honestly. Honesty, integrity, and love, forever love, she lives in her hearts. Born Shirley May Tyler, Kate Coscarelli, and I would think that she wrote Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman, heir apparent, leading lady, living color. Periot Order and Fame and Fortune. Fame and Fortune. Bop and bop. So, friends, I don't know what this means. Sebastian Cabot was a pretty good sized fellow. So I honestly don't think he can be under this unless they buried his ashes. So you got Sebastian Cabot, Mr. French, right here. You've got Jim Backus there. You've got Barney Fife up there, and you see the lady leaving. So if you come in and you come to these, this section of markers right here, he's not quite to the end. He's on the very edge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from the right edge. So if you count that way, nine. Back to here, Sebastian Cabot. All right, so I walked onto this guy's grave, Sammy Kane. I looked him up, and he wrote, "Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow." Christmas song. I was Rawhide, Clint Eastwood. She was on Quincy M.E. She was on Mannix. She was on Ironside. This lady had cried a um, career at, out here, so look her up. She may be familiar to you if you search her on uh, Google. Uh, there's pictures of her on there, but she was on Maverick, Gunsmoke, Rawhide, some of the biggest. So she's a character actor that nobody knows her name. That's one of those. Everybody knows what she looks like. They just don't know who yeah, she is. Everyone knows what she looks like, just don't know who she is. I but love that. She's right here and has a really good uh, believe in yourself and go for it. And that's what we do, right, Spy Guy? That's what we do. We believe in ourselves and okay. we go for it and we bring you uh, these uh, stories. These us uh, stories? These uh, stories. These are stories. These stories, see? These stories, see? See, she was in some films in the 1940s, see? And that's how she did it, see? And then she left... When she left, she left a, a, a really uh, inspirational note, see? Yeah. And that's how we do it here. But she is a character actor, and there's probably a lot of them around here that we know their face. We just don't know their names. That's right. So I'm just Googling some names that I think. So this is James Cobert. I don't know what this means, though. Go bravely on. You'll, I'll show you his face. You'll recognize him. But what does this mean? I guess he's buried underneath. You work here. So if you want to see Coburn, he's right here. You see these, this arch and you come through. Look at the skyscrapers that are around. All these people are just buried right here. A lot of these people didn't know they are going to be neighbors to Maryland. I don't think I'm interested at this time. Endowment care? What did they do here? I thought this was a cemetery. So they put the vases in the ground under. Uh -huh, the okay. Yes. I've never seen that before. Yeah, so they put the ferns right underneath. So like James Coburn is a bench. James Coburn. It's a cremation bench. What mm -hmm. does that mean? So they go in the leg of the bench, the cremation. <laughs> yeah, the urn. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a way to know that. I've never heard of that. Yeah. Okay. 
So friends, when you come in and come around right there, you stop and you come in this mausoleum and the telltale is this little elevator. You see this elevator? If you look to the left of that elevator and count one, two, three, four, Tim Conway right there. Now something that's ironic is he played a character named Dorf. And I want you to look, there's somebody named Dorf buried right beside him. I'm sure it has nothing to do with Tim Conway, but I think that's pretty odd that they are buried literally right here. So Tim Conway is right there. He does not have a marker yet, but you can see the two vases on either side. That's Tim Conway. So friends, this right here is Bob Crane of Hogan's Heroes fame. You will recognize him right there. Hogan and Hilda together. So that was Hogan's Hilda. So she was on the show too, evidently. Interesting. The way you find that is you come in the gate, you go all the way around, and you stop at the edge of this last mausoleum and you see that palm tree. And if you walk right here, it's just right to the left of the palm tree or to your right if you're walking this way. So friends, if you come in right here, this is a special one. You come in that gate right there and if you just, you can't stop there, you can come around here and you can stop right there. But if you walk directly back over here, that right there, that's where Roy Orbison is. And some markings, some ways that you can figure it out is if you see this big tree, you walk beside the tree and you walk directly down parallel to the tree and between those two palm trees right there, about halfway, so beside that tree, just a little forward, Halfway between that set of palm trees, Roy Orbison, right there. Clarity on this, friends. I ask him, these are urns. That is an urn. So James Coburn is in that in that leg of that bench. Florence Henderson. I want you to look at that, Mrs. Brady. Mrs. Brady. Wow. So when you walk in right there, Mrs. Brady is right there. <laughs> Ashes. She is somewhere right along in here. You see her? Yep. Okay. I was expecting there she it to is. be bigger. It looks bigger. Than well, what they said was, yeah, it does look giant. It looked like a regular one over yeah. there. They said that these are ashes that are in here. So this is Doris Roberts. And she's, her marker's right down there, just on the other side of the tray on the bottom. So friends, this is Eva Gabor. We love you, you are in our hearts forever. She died in 1995, our darling Eva. Her sister, Zsa Zsa, both of these most are pretty familiar with, I would say. John Casavetes, and I'm probably not saying that right, was a director, and a producer and director. Franklin Schaefer, or Frank Schaffner, is right here. And this little area, the way you'll find this is, literally, that's the front gate. You pull in, you go around and stop. We park right there. And then you can come right here. You see the Arm & Hammer family. And Eva is right beside it. Right there. And I can't read these. It doesn't do us any good to, to have a marker that you can't read. And this dude right here, he wanted to be first. He's literally, you come through the gate, and he's right there. It's a little old tiny place that they've squeezed a bunch of folks in.